Stuart, um, can you just describe um, your performance today and then that four under par round? I, I think today was a um, what I would have hoped for for an opening round for the most part. Uh, we have my, my son Reagan and I have a pretty good game plan for this course. And uh, we got pushed that into uh, operation today. And, uh, you know, it seemed like there were very few um, errors in that department out there today. And, and it was a pretty smooth round. So um, I know that I've been around these opens enough that there's going to be a lot of uh, challenges, a lot of travails out there over the week. But today, I've mostly avoided them. And how important is it to get off to such a good start? Well, I mean, uh, you, you, you know, I hesitate to even use the old adage about winning the tournament on Thursday, but, you know, it's kind of true. And you want to be in it. You want to, you know, get a good feel for the course and a um, few surprises on the first round and, and, and just do the best you can. And um, I, I executed pretty well, and I've, I've got a good, solid executing um, plan for the rest of the week. And, and so um, I, I think that between Reagan and I, we are um, doing a pretty good job, and mostly this whole year, but doing a pretty good job piecing the shots together and figuring out what our strategies are going to be on each different shot and um, not making a lot of errors in that department. So um, that's a big part of Lynx Golf is to, is to do the right guesswork. Okay, we do have a question from Ian. Unmute, unmute yourself. Hi, Stuart. Uh, a fine round today. Thank you. You're, you're famous in, in my part of the world for uh, paying a, a visit to Le Hinch before your preparation for 09. Um, did you pay another visit this week to kind of get you in form for uh, Lynx Golf? <laughs> Sadly, no. I haven't been back for a few years, but uh, I do love the area around La Hinch, and I still say La Hinch is my favorite opening nine holes anywhere in the world. I love playing that first nine, and um, hopefully I'll get back soon, but not this year. Didn't make it this year. Um, so you had 14 greens in regulation today. How important was that in getting such a solid opening round? Well, that's that's important, I think, every round, no matter what course you're playing and what tournament. But today, um, you know, I had a few shots that I wouldn't consider to be super high quality approaches, and then some of them still found the green. And that, that's mostly due to reasonable planning and um, just not shooting yourself in the foot. You don't want to take a lot of chances when there's a lot of trouble lurking around the greens. And, and today, um, I hit, my, I hit some good shots in there close, and I hit some poor shots that ended up on the green and playable and, and, and living. That's what we call it. We say we're living. And um, I felt like I was living all day, uh, playing out of the good parts of the fairway and, and from light rough mostly, if I was in the rough. So um, all in all, today was a really acceptable day. With the weather forecast being relatively consistent over the weekend, are you confident that you can put, make a push for a potential second open? I'm very confident in that, and uh, it has nothing to do with the weather forecast, though. I, mean, I, I didn't even I didn't realize the weather forecast was supposed to stay consistent, but it's. Uh, I just uh, I feel like that I've got a lot of experience, and um, I like the way my game's been the last uh, ten or twelve months or so, and I'm having a great time. So um, I'm not too stressed out about the results, and I'm I'm hoping to get in the mix and give this thing a run like I did in 2009, and try to draw on some of those memories. But yeah, I definitely have the confidence to do that.